Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hacker Triple Seven here. In this video, I'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of HTTP injector on iPhone and on Android. So on the home page, as you can see, we have quite a bit more option on the Android. And if we select the tunnel type for the Android, it is more refined to choose from. But on the iOS, as you can see, if we should select tunnel type, we have the option to select SSH or Shadow Socks, but if we do select those and try to save, as you can see, V2Ray is the only one supported now. SSH and Shadow Socks aren't currently supported. But on the Android, we could select V2Ray, Shadow Socks, and so on and so forth. Now, this is because on the Android version, it is more refined. It has been available for years, so of course, they would have those done to perfection. Now, the log is pretty much the same. The tools are quite different. Now on the iPhone, we only have diagnostic and debug mode, whilst on the Android, we have quite a bit of options here. Now we will be looking forward to seeing these options added to the Android in well, the iPhone in future updates rather. But it is pretty cool to see that HTTP injector, one of the best VPNs on Android, being integrated into the iOS system. So it is long overdue and it is one that I've been waiting for and anticipating. So it is good to see it. Now on the help tab, we basically have the same options, the same description and so on and so forth. Now let's take a bit of look into the settings, what we have in store. Now seeing that the tunnel type is selected for V2Ray on the iPhone, and Android have a different V2Ray customization option, we, we would have variant settings. Now on the Android, we have the tunnel set to SSH. Now if we set it to V2Ray, we would have to download the V2Ray plugin, and I don't have that download right now. Well, right, it's, it's, it's actually there. So the V2Ray, let me actually change this to V2Ray, so we could actually see some more options here. All right, so we're now on V2Ray on both devices. However, on the iPhone, we only have the option to customize the DNS, dark, well, the theme and the connection. Whilst on Android, we have quite a bit of stuff we could customize. We could customize battery optimization. We even have advanced settings. Now these are for more advanced users. So like myself, have been using this application for quite a number of years rather. So um, these settings are quite basic for me, but I won't go into the details of this. It's not an um, explanation video as to what these features are. It's just an overview and a side-by-side -side comparison as to how things are on the iPhone and how things are on the Android. So that's pretty much it for the iPhone. There aren't many settings available. Um, it is just, it is a new app released about three weeks ago, so you can't expect it to have that many settings and options. Whilst on the Android, this has been available for years and years. Now, I'm currently on the Pro version. This is version 5.9.1, and as you can see, on the Android, it is just well, on the iOS, it is version 1.0.5, so it has a long way to go um, in comparing to the Android. And on the Android, as you can see, we have quite a bit more tools here. We have speed test, we have hardware ID, we have custom servers, which are always good to see. And I, I typically use the HTTP custom servers to be able to connect to whichever location I choose. So that is it, a side-by-side -side comparison and a look as to what is there on the Android and what is there on the iPhone. So iPhone users, fret not, um, you can connect through V2Ray, which is pretty fast, and it will get you going. Now, I, I don't have a tutorial now as to how to create a V2Ray account, but in my previous video on the iPhone, um, I spoke about V2Ray a bit and I showed you a bit as to how to go about configuring that. So please keep that in mind, um, how to configure V2Ray on the iPhone. So this is it. 
I hope this video gave clarity as to the differences and similarities in both applications on the iPhone and on the Android. So if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to respond to as many as possible. So thank you for watching. Hacker 2 plus 7 out.